What is up guys, Rick Hackus here, and today we are going over some amazing community designed exotics for Destiny. Now this is the only series that lets you submit your exotic weapon or armor idea and have a realistic concept art made for it. Now that's because I partnered with the artist Benjamin Radiman who makes these amazingly realistic exotic concepts. His deviant art will be linked in the description down below. So in today's video we are going over 5 featured exotics that came from the comments section of last week's video. After that we're going to go over the proper way to submit your idea and some tips for getting selected. And lastly we're going to shout out all of the different concepts that were made for last week. So without further ado let's get started with the featured exotics. The first concept we have is the vigilante exotic shotgun concept by Wyatt Banco. Now the exotic perk for this weapon is that getting precision kills with this gun will increase the total health and armor for everyone in the user's fire team. So if you're utilizing this weapon, not only will you get a benefit for getting precision kills, but your fire team is also going to benefit. That is a very interesting dynamic. Now of course this can be reined in and maintained that it's not overpowered by simply limiting how many times this stacks or limiting the amount of of this effect but I do like the idea of this effect I like the fact that it's giving you a bonus yes obviously it's gonna be something that's even good for solo play but it's also great for if you're in a group if you're in a raid one person running this is going to give a benefit to your entire team which that is an awesome dynamic now of course the question remains if multiple people ran this in a PvP environment would that stack enough to make a substantial difference for your team that's that's pretty interesting and in fact that question is actually pretty awesome that we're asking that. I like the idea of it, I like the fact that it introduces all of these awesome team play dynamics and potential team builds to go and play certain PvP activities, so overall I think this is a sweet and interesting new idea. Moving on we have the Lightmonger Exotic Snipe Rifle concept by Executor Hideous. This weapon has two unique perks. The first is a passive perk called Gluttony. Kills with this weapon help charge your super and abilities. Additionally, it has an exotic perk called Regurgitate. At the cost of your entire super fully charged and all of your ammunition for this weapon, you load one extremely high impact projectile into the chamber and the more ammunition you have in your reserves, the more damage this bullet will do. Now, my goodness, that is quite the effect. Using up your entire charged super and all of your special ammo for a single shot out of your sniper rifle. Like, that is absolutely insane. That shot would have to do a lot, a lot of damage to be worth it. But if you're in a strike, like if you're in a heroic strike and you could like almost kill or potentially kill like Valis to Eric with a single sniper shot, would that be worth it? Like, maybe it wouldn't be the most practical, and you'd probably be using other sniper rifles when you're doing higher level encounters, but my god, almost killing or killing an entire strike boss with a single shot, that would be fun to use. Again, maybe not practical, but damn if it wouldn't be unique, and damn if it wouldn't be just so fun to utilize. Like, I would love something like this to be introduced in the game. It seems like just such a fun, all-in sort of weapon to utilize. Now, of course, the question remains, how do you activate this certain ability? Like, does it just automatically happen when you have a fully charged super? Or would you have to press a special button or a special combination of buttons? That's really the question that needs to be answered. But other than that, sweet idea. Moving on, we have the Reaper of Souls exotic auto rifle concept by Chaos King Revolution. This weapon has the unique passive perk, a blade's sharp resolve. The player gains the ability to use this weapon to melee instead of their normal melee attack. Also, this weapon, while using it as a melee weapon, has increased melee range and melee attack speed. In addition to that, it has the exotic perk, Soul Stealer. 
melee kills while using this weapon to melee temporarily increase recovery and armor. It also adds a significant boost to reload speed and stability until your next reload. So essentially what this gun does, again, is that it replaces your normal melee attack. So it replaces your storm fist, it replaces your throwing knives, and lets you instead use this gun with its bayonet on the front as your melee weapon. And, you know, for giving up that melee ability, you're also going to gain some interesting new abilities with this weapon. It's going to let you gain some recovery and armor every time you get a kill, and your melees are going to have a little bit increased melee range and melee attack speed. That's very interesting. We've had a few of these ideas in the past where basically you use a weapon as your melee weapon instead, somewhat similar to using a heavy sword, a heavy melee weapon, um, and it, that replaces your melee abilities. This would kind of be the same thing, but but in primary form. It's certainly an interesting and unique idea, and the balancing factor for me, if something like this was a little overbearing, would simply be that you use this weapon in the place of your actual melee ability. So when your throwing knives are charged, then you can utilize this weapon, but as they're charging, you're still going to utilize your normal melee, and that's just going to make sure that something like this doesn't completely run rampant, because it does seem like a very powerful ability. But that one little balancing factor could definitely let it slip in and be utilized in game I don't think without too much power Moving on, we have the vehement apocalypse exotic hand cannon concept by Glowhu. This weapon yet again has a unique passive perk called apocalyptic Every kill with this weapon powers the last bullet adding 15 damage per kill Additionally, the exotic perk is called Soul Harvest. Every kill has a chance to cause your enemy to drop a glowing orb. Different, but somewhat similar to an orb of light. Picking up this orb will begin your health regeneration. Now starting off with the passive perk, I really like that idea that every kill you get, you know, in your magazine, the last round of that magazine is going to be doing, you know, more and more and more damage depending on how many kills you can get. So if you're in PvE and you're able to kill like a bunch of thralls, basically one per shot, the last round of your magazine is going to do huge damage. Obviously that 15 damage per kill is for PvP and it would scale up in PvE. And in PvP as well, it would also be pretty useful if you're able to take down really utilize your shots effectively like a few enemies before you have to reload that last shot is kind of like final round for your hand cannon but instead the final round severity depends on how good you are essentially how much you can make those initial rounds count. Now the exotic perk Soul Harvest also seems very good. You know, you have a chance when you kill an enemy that he drops this orb you can pick up and it starts your health regeneration. Basically kind of a worse red death because that weapon starts your health regeneration immediately. But it kind of balances out that you have kind of a worse red death effect with the Soul Harvest perk, but then you also get the addition of the intrinsic apocalyptic perk. So you have these two good perks working together to create an overall pretty damn good exotic hand cannon. Now the last featured concept we're going over today is the Thou Art a Villain exotic pulse rifle concept by Randall the Taken Vandal. Now this weapon has two unique perks. The first one is a main perk called an angel. Consecutive precision hits, where a hit is considered a full precision burst, with this pulse rifle give a small boost to recovery and armor for 5 seconds. Now the exotic perk is called a villain. All effects obtained from this weapon increase up to seven times with consecutive precision hits. So if you're able to get a precision hit, like a precision burst, with the angel perk, and then that triggers the small boost to recovery and armor, the exotic perk now makes it so that that can stack up to seven times. So that's basically going to give you a lot further bonus and a lot further effective use of this weapon. Now, of course, if you're able to stack this up up to seven times, you're going to get a pretty sizable chunk of an increase to armor and recovery. Like, you're going to get a pretty damn good bonus. You're going to be pretty hard to kill on the Crucible. The thing is, actually landing a full burst from a pulse rifle 
all headshots, that does not happen as much as you would think. A lot of the time you miss, one shot goes over the head, a lot of the time you get one body shot, and as soon as you do that, that bonus is going to go away, it's going to disappear. You have to land them consecutively, so that is definitely the balancing factor. If you're able to be really accurate with this weapon and you're landing all your headshots and you're probably going to have to engage enemies in kind of closer medium range to enable this, you're going to get a pretty damn good bonus. But as soon as you miss, you're back to square one. I definitely like the idea of this weapon. Very high risk, high reward in both PvP and PvE. Now that's going to be it for this week's featured exotics. Let's move on to how to properly submit your idea and some tips for getting selected. Firstly, how to properly submit your idea is you have to reply to the comment I'm going to leave in the comment section down below. So I'm going to leave the official comment saying reply to this comment here with your idea and then it's going to go on to list a bunch of more stuff that you should try to include in your submission. Following those will increase your chances, but again, the only submissions that are counted are the ones that reply to these official comments. If you reply to the normal comment section, if you reply to other people, people's random comments that won't be counted. Additionally, some tips for getting selected. Firstly, try to make sure that your idea is realistic for Destiny. You know, getting a kill and turning into a dragon or a bear sounds cool, but it's probably never actually going to make it into the game. Secondly, try to regulate yourself and make sure that your idea isn't overpowered. There's a ton of submissions where getting a kill or getting a precision hit or something gives you an overshield. That is a little bit much, so try to stray away from that. I should mention at this point in the video that I will be away traveling for about a week, so the next episode of Fanmade Exotics will be one week late, but don't worry, Benjamin's still going to be doing your ideas and we'll have a bigger, longer episode with more than five featured exotics uh, in two weeks from now. And lastly, it's time to shout out all of the different exotic concepts that we created from last week's ideas. Firstly, we have the Sepix Eye Exotic Heavy Gauntlet Concepts by The Flamebringer. Next, we have the Voyage Exotic Hand Cannon Concept by It's Low Dawn. After that, we have the Castor and Pollux Bow and Arrow Concept by Destiny R936. Next, we have the Jetame Exotic Hand Cannon Concept by Dusty P9. Moving on, we have the SGO 50 Payback Strike Exotic Auto Rifle Concept, again by Dusty P9. We have the Old Classic Exotic Primary Sidearm Concept by Hunter X90. Next, we have the Time Hoppers Exotic Warlock Leg Armor Concept by Benny Z. We have the Red Baron Primary Beam Rifle Concept by Executor Hideous. We have the Shahur Exotic Shotgun Concept by The Russian Arsonist. And lastly, we have the Rubico Exotic Snipe Rifle Concept by Omega Zero. Now that's it for the exotics made last week. As always, if you guys want to support this series, please remember to simply rate and especially share this video. And I look forward to seeing you guys and the concepts two weeks from now. Now that's it for the video, make sure to subscribe for more Destiny content and so that you don't miss the next episode of Fan Made Exotics. If you want to get in touch with me, the best way is to follow me on Twitter, that's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.